by Acura. I'm Reese Davis alongside my partners Trev Albert. True music with a performance by 10 feet. Great local sounds. Budweiser true music coming up at the hand. 3 0. 28 yard field goal by Damon Fine. John West is deep to get to the kick. Kicking off is Derek Jones. And the ball will go into the end zone and stop there at this time. It will not be returned by West. So Hawaii will go to work on their 20 yard line. So far, Timmy Chang 11 for 17 for 110 yards. His longest, a very short pass to Philippe Kipi for 24 yards. And you know, Jim, last year, Hawaii, it was a 42-0 game after the first quarter. So this certainly isn't the same team they played last year. They've got some junior college transfers that are out here playing. Uh, number 16, Willie Johnson, was an All-American junior college transfer. So is Del McGee, number five. So it's a different team. And they've got talent out there. They just haven't put it together the last three games. And Hawaii needs to uh, step it up here. Mike Bass has come back in for the offensive backfield along with Timmy Chang in motion is Cochran. First down from the 20, Timmy Chang. Throws it to the sideline, tries for Bass, and just cannot make the connection. The ball just too long, but Bass was open. And if that connection was there, Bass, oh, he would have made it interesting down the far sideline. Number 19, Carl Legrone comes in on a rover blitz. Chang hangs it up, tries to lead Bass, and almost gets it. If Bass could have caught that ball, he'd have been gone. Nobody would have caught it. Second down from the 20 for Hawaii. Cochran is to the right. Triple wide receiver to the left. Timmy Chan gets the ball up the middle. This is Bass. Bass gets swarmed under as he gets past the line of scrimmage. Very short game. Daryl Towns in the middle. Towns is a tenacious linebacker of six feet, 230 pounds, senior from Pasadena, California. He's the cousin of Lester Towns, formerly of the University of Washington, and now with the Carolina Panthers. Yeah, and you know, Towns was a preseason, was on the preseason watch list for the Butkus Award. So he had a good season last year, and last week he had 17 tackles against Fresno, so he, he knows what he's doing back there. Timmy Chang, third down, another third down situation. Hawaii now three for six on third down conversions. Chang tries, I don't know what he was trying. I really don't. Maybe he tried to get the uh, pass to, uh, to Bass, but apparently he heard the whistle and just said, here, you, you guys have the ball. The Lev game on the offense. Five yard penalty, replay, third down. So Hawaii gets tapped for a delay of game. Of course, not fortunate. Yeah, you know, Cordova could have gotten, could have been called for a personal foul there. The whistle was blown way ahead of his pass rush, and he still rushed in and pushed Timmy, gave Timmy Chang a nice little shove. Now it is third down, long yardage. Third down and 16. Timmy Chang looking sideline, tries to give the shovel pass to Bass. That doesn't work at all. And it will be fourth down. Hawaii will have to punt it. So this crowd here, not a big crowd by any means, but definitely seeing Nevada getting the advantage here in the second period. Yeah, not a big crowd, but a happy crowd. You know, I noticed, Jim, that you look at the Nevada sideline and all the players have these long socks covering up their calves. And on the Hawaii sideline, nobody has long socks. So they're going to have some cold calves here in the second half. They are. Milne kicks it to Rosenblum. He comes up. No fair catch. No fair catch. Takes it on the 45. Is grabbed and thrown down. There's a nice play by Mega Hogan there on the punt coverage. So Mega Hogan, who has really starred on the special teams able to make the catch near midfield the ball is on the 49 yard line of Hawaii when we come back Nevada will have it on that 39 yard punt 
A politician's pledge to repeal the registration fee increase. We beat them to it. Buick now gives you bonus cash to help cover the increased costs of your California license and registration fees. Think of it. On top of your choice of great cash back offers or interest-free financing on every new Buick, we deliver bonus cash for license and registration fees. Move up to the quality at your Southern California Buick dealer today. Action! Remember, when you hit the water, I need you to hydroplane out of control. Water! Remember, out of control. Cut! No, cut! Cut! Okay, fire the stunt driver. The new Michelin Hydro Edge with patented hydro shoots. It's our best performing tire in its class. Michelin, because so much is riding on your tires. Car's all done, ma'am, and here's your record of everything we did. So I guess you didn't charge me for washing my windows, vacuuming, and checking my tires? No, ma'am. Well, I do love a man in uniform, and I love little extras, Mr. Jiffy Man. Ma'am, it's all part of our signature service oil change. Oh, sure it is. Great service, lots of little extras. No wonder people fall in love with the J-Team at Jiffy Lube, the well-oiled machine. Central Pacific Bank sponsors the Loyalty Award by donating $100 toward the Central Pacific Bank, uh, Bank endowed the scholarship fund for every touchdown. Hawaii scores, Central Pacific Bank, firstly loyal banking. Hawaii has not scored yet. 3-0 Nevada. Talib Wise, single setback behind the quarterback, Heiser, Andy Heiser. Heiser has performed well. He is 7 of 10 for 103 yards. A delay. Wise into the secondary. Ankle tackle by Kalili Moku. It's a nice tackle by Kalili Moku. If he hadn't made that tackle, it would have been a bigger game for Wise. They looked at me on the sideline during that break, Jim, that Chance Kretschmer was getting stressed out. His left leg was getting stretched out, so that's why you're seeing Wise in there. Kretschmer, that's the same side he had his injury on last year. He blew out his left knee, so uh, if he's not be able to play, that's a big loss for uh, Nevada. Good. Blocking that time by the Nevada front line. They come out again, double tight end. Second down in three. Heiser, Wise. Wise still on his feet. To the 31 yard line. And a penalty flag. We may have face mans. So Talib Wise, out of Chicago, Illinois, who went to Joliet Junior College before transferring uh, to Nevada. 50 fourth rush of the year came in with 291 yards face man and one touchdown on the defense five yard penalty from the end of the run first down there's a face match there's a nice job by the offensive line number 79 Isaiah Ross is caving down the defensive line big hole and a wise made David Gilmer miss and Khalili Moku came over and made a second tackle in a row there Hawaii has been penalized four times for 25 yards Nevada has not been penalized in this game Johnson is flanked to the far side and to the near side is Mann. Again, the double tight end. The line of scrimmage just outside the 26 yard line of Hawaii. Audibleizing is Heiser. Heiser to throw. Throws for the end zone. He wants Mann. Incomplete covering on the play was Milhouse. Tight coverage on the play was Milhouse. He was right there. The ball was a little overthrown, but the Milhouse was all over that, that route there. It wouldn't have been a catch, anyways. Take another look here. You can see wanted that corner. And the ball thrown covering on the play was Milhouse. Milhouse had contact, but apparently not enough for any kind of interference goal. Flowers and Mann are flanked to the far side. Wise again comes out as a single setback. Second down and 10 from the 26. Heiser to Wise. Wise is hit by Hiram Peters, glances off, gets to the 40, or rather, excuse me, the 20-yard line. Gain on the play, up close to six yards. And that will bring up third down.
Third down and four. Point of the ball right at the 20 yard line for Nevada. They lead three to nothing. They've been down here before. Difference in the game a 28 yard field goal by Damon Fine. Double wide receiver to the left. Heiser's really had the time to throw. Fakes the handoff. Hit by LeBoy and just dumped back at the 26 yard line. For LeBoy, that is his 10th sack of the year. So he ties Kennard now for Nevada in that department. And LeBoy makes a beautiful move on number 78, Alan Parker. Comes outside, fakes inside, gets up field for his 10th sack. Great move by uh, LeBoy there. And you see the pass rush. The, that's the reason why he's number three in the whack now. So this will be a 42 yard attempt by Damon Fine, the field goal kicker out of the hold of Andy Heiser. It is placed, it is kicked, and it is good. Damon Fine has accounted for all the scoring in this game. Unofficially a 42 yard field goal. And Nevada leads it 6 0 over Hawaii. Fast C230 sports sedan with a supercharged compressor engine. To catch one, you gotta be in one. They are highly skilled with nerves of steel and a killer instinct. Who are they? The world's greatest liars. It's a Thanksgiving Day Marathon showdown at the Sands Atlantic City on Fox Sports Net. Let's go! Over the last 10 years, Fox NFL Sunday has been America's number one pregame show. This is exactly what I expected. <laughs> Fox NFL Sunday, this week. All next week on the SoCal Sports Report, we're getting you ready for the Crosstown Showdown between USC and UCLA. We'll report from each campus as the Trojans and the Bruins get ready for this year's version of The View. Petros Papadakis and Matt Stevens will break down the game and possibly each other. Yes! Yes! It's a red letter game! <laughs> All this plus live post-game coverage from the Coliseum. The SoCal Sports Report, at at 10. National Guard Rambo is an inflated advertising symbol. Somebody's in there. <laughs> Kicking off for Nevada will be Derek Jones. And deep will be John West for Hawaii. Jones really puts his toe to it. West takes it nine yards deep and he will not return it. And Hawaii will put the ball in play at the 20 yard line. Coming up at halftime, we've got great local music, Budweiser True Music with the sounds of 10 feet. Budweiser True Music coming up at the half. And that was a rare sight, Jim, to see John West take a knee in the end zone. Usually he likes to run it out. Well, he tried to do it on the opening kickoff, got out just past the 10 yard line. So Hawaii puts the ball in play at the 20. Timmy Chan throws it, and with it is Chad Owens. Owens from the 20 to the 25. Cordova diagnosed the play well. Yeah. And also L.D. Morshek. And Nevada coming with a three-man rush that time, dropping eight guys back into the zone. When you want, when you throw the screen, you you, you want to try and throw it into a defense that's attacking. And uh, the defense has been attacking the whole first half, but on that particular play, they just happened to drop back into an eight-man zone. Unfortunate for the water. Brewster back with Chan in on the play of five. Second down and five for Hawaii. They trail six to nothing. This is Brewster looking for running room. Brewster out only to about the 27, and that will bring up another third down for Hawaii. Chang right now 12 of 20 for 165 yards in this game. And Hawaii's offensive line, they, they come out of a two-point stance. 
They don't go in a three-point stance. So when they run block, it's more position blocking. They're not going to blow anybody off the line. So it's the running back's job is to try and find the hole. Wherever the hole is, he's got to hit it. And Brewster found the hole there, but uh, he closed up uh, pretty fast on him. Carl LeGrone make the stop on that last play by Nevada. Third down, about three. In motion is Owens. Chang again from the shotgun. Looking, pump fakes, throws. That's complete for the first down. And with it is Owens. Out to about the 35 yard line. Keono Kaul and Daryl Towns finally double teamed him. So that's a first down for Hawaii. The clock becoming an ever important factor now in this first down. You know what amazes me, Jim? What amazes me about Chang and Owens is that Owens is the leading receiver in the WAC. He's got the most receptions. So they know that, and they're covering him, and they, they're all over it, but he still finds a way to get open, and Chang finds a way to get him the ball. First down at the 35-yard line for Hawaii. Chang backing up, and they sack him. Number 19, Carl Legron, 6'5", 230, the senior. That's uh, the second time I've seen him coming on a blitz. It's kind of like a safety blitz. He's the rover. And he almost got chained the first time, and that time uh, wrapped him up. Second blitz of the day that worked. And the second sack of the day for Nevada. Ball goes back to the 29-yard line. The loss of six on that sack. So it is second down, long yardage. Second and 16. Timmy Chang gives the ball to Brewster. Brewster gets to the 40. Brewster still on his feet all the way out to the 43-yard line. And that will bring up third down short yardage. Jorge Cordova trailing the play, finally caught up with Brewster. Good run and good blocking by Hawaii. An excellent play call by the coaches. I mean, a second and 16, second and long, whatever. It's an obvious passing Time situation. Out. They come Hawaii. with a draw play and catch Nevada in a bad defense. Good job by Cordova for uh, his effort and pursuit in making the tackle. 38 seconds left to play. Hawaii calls a timeout. Hawaii is four for eight now on third down situations. Owens, six catches for 59 yards in this game. And you see the run by Brewster. And number 66, Brandon Eaton that time leading the charge with the lead block. Hawaii is just not been able, been down in red territory. They've been able to move the ball, but they have been unable to score. They are 0 for 1 in field goals. Yeah. You know, Jim, you talked earlier about how this is a big game for Hawaii, kind of a must win if they want to set up that game against Boise State and the WAC Championship. Well, for Nevada and its coach, Chris Tormey, this is a must win. Uh, if he loses today, he's got to beat Boise State, his last game of the season, to get six wins and be a 500 team, a 6-6 six six team. If he loses today, he cannot have a winning season. Uh, they are rumblings around uh, Reno about his future here at the University of Nevada. Third down for Hawaii. Third down, short yardage, but the clock really a factor now. 38 seconds left in the first half. Timmy Chang out of the shotgun. Triple wide receiver to the left. Chang back straight up. Looks sideline. Throws. That is complete. Clifton Herbert at the 40, and Herbert out of bounds at the Nevada. 38 and stops the clock. Paul Pratt there to usher him out of bounds. 32 seconds left. And on that play, Nevada was in a zone, and number 85, Jason Rivers, runs straight up field and takes the cornerback with him, which leaves a big opening. And number 21, Herbert, he just broke to the outside in that hole in the zone and made a nice catch. 18-yard game by Clifton Herbert. Following the reception, first down for Hawaii. Almost jumping offside. No flag at the moment. And again, that uh, shovel pass not working. And you see the defensive line try to pick it up because it almost looks like a fumble, but it is a pass. So if it doesn't, if the running back doesn't catch it, it is a, an incomplete pass. It is not a fumble. You see Chris Berry was in the area for Nevada. Second down and 10. 29 seconds left to play in the first half. Cochran is to the far side. And to the near side is Rivers. Chang in trouble. 
Now throws on the run. That's complete. He gets it to Rivers. But Hawaii quickly trying to call a timeout, and they do with 21 seconds left. That'll bring a third down. That was short of the first down. Hawaii has to go Hawaii. to the 28. Second timeout. Yeah, when, when Timmy Cheng took the snap five yards back from center, he stepped backwards, and there was Cordova in his face. So he had to just force his step up into the pocket, move around, shift around, avoid another, another defender, and then make a nice pass. You see, as he steps back, Cordova's coming around the end there, and Timmy Cheng has to step up to avoid the sack. He makes a nice pass to uh, Jason Rivers. Third down for Hawaii. They have it at the 31. They have to go to the 28. They trail in this game six to nothing. Two field goals by Damon Fine. 20, a 28 yarder and a 42 yarder. That's all the scoring in this first half. In stark contrast to the way it was last year when Hawaii scored 42 points in the first quarter against Nevada. Yeah, well, like we're like we're talking about earlier, Jim, they didn't have Cre Nevada didn't have Kretschmer last year, and a lot of the guys playing tonight are junior college transfers. So it's not the same team, and it's not really the same team for Hawaii because Hawaii had a very experienced offensive line. That's true. That's true. Um, you know, for Nevada, they come in and they they, they got to go recruit these junior college transfers. But they get good ones. The, the guys they have are like junior college All-Americans. They're 6'2", 6'3", receivers. And a good job. I don't know what Chris Storm is telling them to get him to come here, but he's getting him to come here. Hawaii has one timeout left. Third down. Timmy Chang from the shotgun. Three-man rush. Chang, pump faking, pump faking. Now throws. And it's almost picked off. Tried to find Rivers. Chad Owens getting up slow in the middle of that uh, Nevada secondary. And that's a good pass rush by Nevada. You know, obvious passing down. Uh, no time left on the clock to, to run a running play. And uh, Nevada just playing the situation, football situation. Comes with an excellent pass rush. And Hawaii just feeling the pressure, not able to uh, execute. The wind almost non existent now for this huge field goal. Ball is on the 38-yard line, a 48-yarder for a yacht out of the hold of Wielden. It is placed. It is kicked. And it is not good. So a yacht has missed two field goals. Nevada, with 10 seconds left on the clock, leads six to nothing on their two field goals. It has been a disappointing offensive show for Hawaii here in the first half. You know, and coming into this game, you wondered which uh, Hawaii team would show up. The team that went to uh, Louisiana Tech and just lit up the scoreboard of the team that went to San Jose. And right now, it seems like uh, certainly the team that went to Louisiana Tech hasn't shown up. Credit uh, the defense for Nevada. Taking a knee will be Heiser to end the first half. And he does. So Nevada, a team that has been pushed back into the corner. The future of its coach in doubt. Leads six to nothing over Hawaii. A team that if they are able to win today would be bowl eligible and keep that hope alive for a showdown game against Boise State on December 6th. We're at the break. No stomach for this fight, but we shall be remembered. We few, we happy few, we band of brothers. We band of heroes. Get what you need from the internet faster. Get SBC Yahoo DSL for just $26.95 a month when you sign up online, and you can win a trip to the Nokia Sugar Bowl. One more way, we bring it all home. Pick it up. Nissan Pathfinder has a lot of fans. They like the roominess, the cargo capacity, and the strong 240 horsepower engine. 
Now get 0.9% financing or $2,000 cash back on every new Pathfinder. So move your tail. Gate, the Nissan Pathfinder, 0.9 or 2,000 cash. People always ask me, hey, Hef, do you have favorites? I tell them no. It's not about that. He can have anything he wants. I don't know how he makes the choice. I love them all. I feel for half. It's so hard to choose. I don't know how he does it. It just depends on what I'm in the mood for. The bacon cheese $6 burger. Just one of five $6 burgers from Carl's Jr. Because some guys don't like the same thing night after night. This is Rick. He gave time to help set up a blood drive. This is Maria. She teaches first aid, CPR, and AED classes. This is Jamal. He helps answer phone calls. And Angela is a disaster responder. Together as volunteers, they're over one million strong. When we come together, we become part of something bigger than us all. in Reno, Nevada, a game that features field goals, too complete for Nevada, and Hawaii with two misses. This is the last field goal for Nevada. This is a 42-yarder. Damon Fine, who already kicked a 28-yarder, has the strength. It just gets over. So it is six to nothing, Nevada. Hawaii came back as the seconds ticked away in the first half. And this is a long one, 48 yarder. This one just didn't have the strength or the direction by Ayat. That's his second missed field goal. Subsequently, it is six to nothing in favor of Nevada. Coming up next on the home team, Budweiser True Music with a performance by 10 feet. Enjoy the music. We'll see you a little later in halftime. Is it a marvel of engineering? A triumph of technology? Or a new benchmark of design? Yes. Introducing the new LS from Lexus. At your Southern California Lexus dealer, Page 91, data for the new creamy caramel. Oh, shake. it's a shake, for goodness. Thanks. We certainly hope you're enjoying the game. Welcome to Halftime at our Fox Sports Net Studios inside Staples Center in Los Angeles. I'm Carolyn Hughes. And coming up for you, we have a segment we like to call Pick the Pack 10. We'll explain in just a moment. First, though, here's a look at the front runners in the Heisman Trophy race heading into this weekend. Here's Fox Sports Net's Brad Stanky. Simmons, a little puff there. Fran 
Kansas, and Tech answers. Touchdown. A week after tossing five picks, Simmons bounced back in a big-time way against Baylor, throwing for 400-plus yards and seven scores, with five of those coming in the first half alone. Simmons could move up the list further with big efforts against both Texas and Oklahoma to finish out the year. Leinert throws to the end zone. Touchdown, Harry Colbert. Leinert falls from three to four this week for no other reason than he didn't get a chance to play. With a relatively soft schedule left, the quarterback has a good chance to be a finalist, but the odds are slim he actually wins the award. To throw the Bay, Larry Fitzgerald got bumped, still makes the catch. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Fitzgerald had another score, his 15th straight game with a touchdown and three crucial catches on the decisive drive in Pitt's upset of Virginia Tech. So, how does he drop from two to three on our list? Well, he is a receiver and a sophomore, and that could ultimately be his undoing. Here's Manning. He's got a man open. It's Townsend, the fullback. Touchdown, Ole Miss. He has always had the right name, and now he has the right credentials. Debuting at number two on our list seems a little brash. But then again, Eli had the bravado to lead his team to a comeback win at Auburn. Manning is right in the mix, especially if his Rebels can find a way to knock off LSU. Jason White looks to pass, lobs it in the end zone. Touchdown, Oklahoma! Not much debate here as Jason White again finds himself at the top of our list. Doing all his damage in the first half against AM. White completed his first 15 passes and tied a school record with five touchdowns. Oklahoma and White are rolling and don't expect 3-7 and seven Baylor to slow him down this week. Thanks a lot, Brad. Now we bring you Pick the Pac-10. It's the weekly contest between our USC analyst and former Trojan running back Petros Papadakis and UCLA analyst and former Bruin Rose Bowl quarterback Matt Stevens. Every week they try and pick the winners in all of the Pac-10 games, and today was the final day for selections with the loser having to dye his hair in rival colors and then wear the rival school's jersey through USC-UCLA week, which begins on Monday. And for Pick the Pac-10 finale, here's Van Earl Wright with Matt and Petros. Oh, we always enjoy talking college pig with our expert analysts, Petros and Maddie. But a little bit of melancholy this week because it is the final installment of the year of Pick the Pac-10. Thank week God. 12 of the season. What do you mean, This God. was dragging. It was dragging. It was getting old. It was bad TV. That's You're getting you don't killed. Know That's why. Games. Yeah, whatever. You're three games down. You know, it's been a season-long competition where the loser at the end of the year has to dye his hair the color of his opponent's school, plus wear his opponent's jersey during the week of the big game, which is all next week. And Petros huh. is sucking win. He is three games down. Maddie Stevens, not as good a football team to cover as Petros has had to cover this year, but you're great in the picking, and that's your consolation prize. And because he's three games down, we pick five games this week. So... Technically, Petro still has a chance. Got a chance. I'm but coming back. Probably not really. SC at Arizona. Trojans going to run up the score? I think the Trojans are going to win this football game. Why? Arizona is at the bottom of the Pac 10. Total offense, total defense. I may lose this competition, but the Trojans are going to the national championship game. And Vanderl, I need part of that yellow dye that you use in your hair okay. that makes you look like a big crayon here. That's fine. I got to use that for the stripe. I'm going to look good. No I can problem. pull that off. You couldn't pull it off. I'm happy to share. It makes me sick. I got to agree with Petros. SC's going to roll over Arizona. Arizona's a bad football team, and SC's. Pretty good. Yeah, okay. you think? Now, oh, the next four games, Petros is probably going to be disagreeing with Stevens, but we'll go ahead and hear what he has to say. Game two, Washington to Cal. Stevens, go. I'm going to go with Cal. Washington is absolutely horrible. They lost to Arizona last week. They the, are. The Pac-10 is pretty down. Yeah. i got to go with Washington just because I need to win this competition. Washington's embarrassing. <laughs> the Pac-10 is embarrassing this year. I like the Cal Bears, but i got to pick the Huskies. Arizona State and Pullman to battle the Cougars. What about their quarterback situation for Wazoo? Yeah, it's really important that Matt Kegel plays that game. Josh Swagger can't get it done. I have to go with, of course, Washington State. Which means? Again, for the sake of competition, I have to pick the Arizona State Scum Devils, who are also a huge oh. disappointment in the oh. back this year. Game four, Stanford at Oregon State. Again, Stevens, you set the precedent. Stanford cannot win against Oregon State and stop Steven Jackson. Oregon State. So that well, means Buddy Tevens and the Stanford Tree <laughs> have a two-game win streak going, and I think possibly the Cardinal 
has the Beavers number oh, in this my. game. <laughs> game five, Oregon at UCLA. Drew Olson running the Bruin offense, and I know you're going to pick UCLA. Well, I'm going to pick UCLA, and one good reason, I don't want to see that white, flabby chest of Petros ever again. Good point. Two pieces of advice, tanning booth yeah. and sit-ups. Good point. First of all, I look good. You, you know did? my body is good. We can check the tape. You think that. We, we saw that last week, motion. and the body is a little flabby. Tan in a can from Stevens and run around Santa Monica <laughs> like some kind of half-hearted yuppie <laughs> is not going to get him any closer again to the glory that is the University of Southern California this season. Ah. The Oregon Ducks and Mike Bellotti with that cop look, the mullet and sunglasses, beat down the Bruins <laughs> in the Rose Bowl in a day game that's not on television. Here's a, re Good point. Here's a <laughs> recap of those picks. And you better believe they disagree on four of the five games of the Pac-10 schedule. Again, Petros three games down. Can he rally? Can he make pick the Pac-10 history? I think not. Good looking hairdo next week, P. Daddy. It'll look just like you. Right. Is it Petros that said that was bad TV? I don't know. Always a good time, though. Thanks for joining us here at halftime. From our Fox Sports Net Studios inside Staples Center in Los Angeles, I'm Carolyn Hughes. We're going to send it back now out for the second half between Hawaii and Nevada. Chevy, cars, and trucks. The facts are in. Fact, the politicians have pledged to repeal the license tax fee increase. Fact, Chevy beat them to it. California residents, now through December 1st, Chevy will give you bonus cash to help you pay your license tax fees when you buy or lease an eligible new Chevy car, truck, or SUV. See your Chevrolet dealers of Southern California. I offered you protection. You refused me. Well, look at you now. Yeah, I, I know. Shh. I... Boy, show me the trunk. No! If you want protection, you want the Prestone family and the patented dual action formula of Big Yellow. That trunk thing was really funny. <laughs> Do I amuse you? No. Prestone protection, inside and out. The ultimate fantasy football show. We know who to start, who to sit, who's a stud, and who's a dud. The hidden gems. We know what you don't. Weekends on Fox Sports Net. Story rivalry is renewed as Far leads the Pack's postseason charge, while Sap and the Bucks look to get back in the playoff hunt. It's a Fox NFL Sunday doubleheader this weekend. It's going to be a good old-fashioned Western shootout. Ruchin and the Ducks may not get to face their old captain, but the chance to take on Solani and the Abs will get the blood boiling. Rodano and the Stars are looking for revenge, but Jiggy is the one saying nevermore. Ducks Colorado, Tuesday night at 5. Ducks Dallas, Wednesday night at 5.30. Only on Fox Sports Net 2. Six nothing, Nevada at halftime. Over Hawaii, Jim Leahy along with Doug Violetti. It is a game that has seen Four field goals attempted, two made, both by the Wolfpack. Hawaii has missed two. You look at the statistics. Hawaii trailing six to nothing, the most important statistic. But in the other numbers, Hawaii has uh, the slight advantage. Yeah, it's almost an even game. Both teams have moved the ball up and down in the field. But when they've gone into the red zone, Jim, they haven't been able to punch it in. So they've resorted to their kicking game. So, like you said, four field goals attempted. The two made were on Nevada's side, and the two missed were on Hawaii. So, you know, Hawaii's kicker, just Ayat, you know, in Hawaii, he doesn't warm up. And it's warm there. Hawaii's in the tropics. It's warm. He doesn't probably doesn't need to, to uh, warm up. But up here in, in this weather, in this cold, he might want to think about it because it's colder. you got to warm up. Look at uh, the rushing yards. Hawaii 54, Nevada 49. When are you going to see Hawaii leading in rushing? at halftime. Passing Hawaii also with the advantage. And so in total yards, turnovers, both teams have not turned the ball over. Defensive sacks, Nevada has two, Hawaii has one. And that one was LaBoy, his 10th sack of the year. Time of possession, 17-26 for Hawaii, 12-34 for Nevada. I am impressed, Doug, with the way Nevada has called their offensive plays. To use uh, the, uh, the play action, 
and then to either pass the ball and then use some delays. They mix the offense very, very well. Yeah, you know, I'm an offensive lineman, a former offensive lineman. I certainly still look like one, in the hips at least. So uh, I'm going to go with the offensive line. I think Nevada's offensive line have done, has done a good job. They've opened up holes for the run. And on the play action fakes, they've done a good job of selling a run block. And, uh, you know, Hawaii will bite on that. And then uh, the receivers are open downfield because Hawaii's defense is going to stop the run. These statistics brought to you by AT&T Wireless. M-Life, your mobile life made better. A brand new car. The Mercedes-Benz C230 Sport Coupe comes with a supercharged engine, optional panorama glass roof, and six-speaker stereo system. Wow. Now, Phil, this Mercedes could be yours if you could guess the first number of the price. Is it a two or a four? Oh, For the car? Oh, it's a four, Mom! Is it a four? What's that number? Around here, things aren't always what you'd expect. Like the Mercedes-Benz C230 Sport Coupe starting at 27260. Welcome to Lee Adams Discount Sales. We have the largest selection of big screens and entertainment centers on the planet. We've been serving the Inland Empire for over 20 years. You'll find everything for your home video and audio needs. Hang on the wall, flat panel TVs, indoor or outdoor speakers, entertainment centers, big screen TVs, and much, much more. So come into our new home theater. And we want to thank you for the opportunity to serve you. It's a street course. It's a dirt course. It's a battleground. Supermoto a go go. November 21st at the Rio Las Vegas. Call 866 887 Moto. Master and Commander is taking the critics by storm. Fierce Rolling Stone. Thrilling Newsweek. Fantastic Roger Rebert. Stirring Time Magazine. It's Gladiator on the High Seas. Russell Crowe. Master and Commander, rated PG-13, now playing only in theaters. Game in five, the kick of four. Nevada warming up. And just onto the field now comes Justin Ayat starting to warm up for Hawaii. What's on tap? Let's take a look at what could happen in the second half. I think Nevada just keeps doing what they're doing. They're getting close enough, and the foot of fine is keeping them in the lead. For Hawaii, they have to give better protection to Tim Chang in the first half. He was hurried. He was chased out of the pocket. The shovel passes are not working because of uh, what kind of defense that Nevada is playing. They have watched Hawaii's offense very, very studiously. And they have performed very, very well in this first half. But that offensive line for Hawaii, I think, has to really bulwark and give uh, Timmy some more some more time. Yeah, they step, they've got to step it up. They've got to create the pocket for him. So he, so he can feel confident in stepping up. So he's not backing up and running around back there. He's got to be able to step up, but he won't do it if he's not confident in his offensive line. Uh, Nevada, you're right. They just got to do what they've been doing. They'll eat up the clock because they run a lot. But Hawaii, I think, needs to throw the deep ball a little more, test these corners a little more because they're they're the reserve cornerbacks for Nevada. And the I'm starters are gone. I'm impressed with Andy Heiser, the quarterback of Nevada. He is 7 for 11 for 103 yards. Tim Chang, by contrast, 15 of 25 for 147 yards. So Heiser, if he is given time, he's been able to throw some very good passes to keep the drives alive for Nevada. We begin the second half. Hawaii will kick off. Six nothing Nevada as we begin half number two. Maurice Mann is back along with Randy Landingham. Ball is kicked off. 
And it will be four yards deep coming out his man. And trying for the sideline. And he does get to the sideline. Finally runs out of room way up over the 25 yard line. Picking his way through the kickoff defense for Hawaii, the special teams. And that's a nice run back by man. A lot of Warriors missed tackles at that time. If you look on the sideline now, Jim, a lot of them have started rolling up their socks here. The Cavs getting colder, rolling them up. Johnson is to the far side. The return, 27 yard return. First down for Nevada at their own 27. Kretschmeyer now has come back in. Kretschmeyer was injured in the first half. Kretschmeyer gets the handoff. And they bottle him up right away. Trying to rip the ball out it was Gilmore. Good job defensively that time by Hawaii. Yeah, I tell you, those two defensive tackles for Hawaii, Sopoang and Samusela, they do a great job week in and week out. They're so consistent in stuffing the guards and centers of any offensive line that we face this year. Also, Wes Kipi injured for Hawaii. Saw him on crutches, so he may not return uh, to this game. Second down and nine for Nevada. Gilmore comes up showing blitz. Heiser flares it out to Mann. Mann gets it close to the first down. In fact, I believe he has it. He does. Out to the 39. Yoni Alapa made the stop for Hawaii. And another good play call by uh, Nevada's coach. They, they call the screen pass in a blitzing situation, and they throw it to the side the blitz actually comes from. Which is perfect, a perfect situation for the play call. Johnson and Flowers are to the far side. First down for Nevada just underway in the second half. First drive of the second half. First down from their own 39 yard line. Alapa showing blitz in the middle. Now he backs off. Heiser on a delay gives it to Kretschmer. Kretschmer is hit by Kalili Moku and friends. And a very short game. You know, Kretschmer. He's a marked man. Wherever he goes, whatever game they're in, he's a marked man. He just gets pounded day in and day out every time he steps onto the field, even with the play fakes, because everybody's keen on him. He's got to be a really uh, tough guy to still be healthy at this uh, point of the season. What was interesting for Nevada was that Kretschmer led in rushing. He was an All-America freshman in 2001. In 2002, Nick Burleson led in receiving. He's now with the Minnesota Vikings. Second down and seven. Kretschmer again. Kretschmer bounces off Labor and runs in the, into the pursuit. Gilmore coming up from the secondary. Samu Seva getting up off the bottom of the pile along with Kalili Moku. That'll bring up third down and six for Nevada. And third down and six, it's the kind of situation where you gotta defend against the play action pass, Jim. Because Nevada has done that before. Nevada one for five and third down conversions in this game. They lead six to nothing from the shotgun. Double wide receiver You're looking at the Hawaii offense here. Heiser dancing with time throws over the middle. That's complete and that may be enough of the first down. Alex Rosenblum just inserted into the game. 5'8", 165 pound freshman from West Hills, California. And the drive continues. Gianni Alapa made the stop for Hawaii. And no pressure that time by Hawaii's defense. They've got to come with some kind of pass rush because Heiser was standing back there and bouncing around in the backfield for a long time. And he had a, he had a long time to try to find an open receiver. Good crossing pattern. Yields the first down for Nevada. They have it at midfield, first and ten. Again from the shotgun. Heiser. Heiser with it, looking sideline, being chased. Heiser throws it out of bounds, threw it away. Good pressure, LeBoy was there. Also Purcell, Sapuanga. A good pressure by LeBoy. Uh, right away, right off the bat, number 78, Alan Parker cut in. He went down, got back up, and continued on his uh, pass rush. He's just relentless. You see LeBoy going down, he'll get up and continue to uh, pursue the the quarterback, he's just so quick, Jim, it's amazing. Second down and 10. Under center now is Heiser. 
Kretschmer, the single setback behind him. Heiser, nothing on the sidelines, being chased, and he's sacked. Great job by Hawaii. And I believe it was Mel Purcell, it was. Number 98, Mel Purcell, he's, he's uh, playing today in place of Houston Alla, who's got a torn league, knee ligament, but Purcell just comes. He's a highly recruited uh, player out of Samoa. Purcell just keeps coming. He was a WAC player of the week a couple of weeks ago. He's got an injured elbow. You see his tape up there. He's a really good player, and he'll continue to be a good player in the future for Hawaii. Out of Pongo Pongo, American Samoa. Third down, long yardage now. Third down and 16 for Nevada. Heiser calls a timeout, so they burn one of their three timeouts in the second half. Hawaii's defense trying to stifle this drive by Nevada. Action! Remember, when you hit the water, I need you to hide your plane out of control. Water! Michelin Hydro Edge with patented hydro shoots. It's our best performing tire in its class. Michelin, because so much is riding on your tires. Over the last 10 years, Fox NFL Sunday has been America's number one pregame show. I think that might be one of my favorite outfits. Somebody come here and stop my head! This isn't exactly what I expected. <laughs> Fox NFL Sunday, this week, noon Eastern, 9 Pacific. It's a who's who on the best damn sports show, period. It's the clubhouse for Hollywood and Hall of Famers. Weeknights on Fox Sports Net. They are highly skilled with nerves of steel and a killer instinct. Who are they? Who are they? The world's greatest liars. Thanksgiving Day, the top poker players compete for a million dollars in prize money. Find out who will hit the big time in a Thanksgiving Day marathon. Showdown at the Sands Atlantic City, Thanksgiving Day on Fox Sports Net. Click on BigIslandCandies.com to order the new PM Devente cookie made with olive oil and a twist of Hawaiian ginger. Or check out the Big Island Candy signature tin filled with their famous diagonally dipped shortbread cookies. Holidays coming up. Third down 16. Ball at the 44. Another big play for Nevada. Heiser. Throws, throws in. Deep intercepted by Illuminium. Illuminium up the sideline to the 40. Illuminium gets belted at the 45. First turnover of the game, and flags come in late. A little pushing, shoving, bravado on the sideline. For Illuminium, that is his second interception of the season. That was not a good throw by Heiser. That's a terrible throw. Uh, it's just mis miscommunication between him and the receiver. I think it was Willie Johnson, number 16. Willie Johnson pulled up. And the Heiser thought he was going along. Dead ball. Personal foul. Gets the defense. 15 yards from the end of the run. First down. Big penalty against Nevada. Take a look at this pass. Kind of throws it up in the air. Tried to loft it to Johnson. Overthrew him. Easy interception by Illuminium. Easy interception by Illuminium. And good pressure by Hawaii's defensive front. Good pressure. There you see the penalty. You see the push at the end. That was the penalty. Hawaii with a break here. They have the ball inside the Nevada 40-yard line. West is back with Chang. First play of the second half. Chang steps up in the pocket, throws long over the middle. That's complete. Touchdown. Owen. Chad Owens finds a seam in the defense. They're in the zone. He goes, streaks right down the field. And Timmy Chang hit him in full strike. Perfect throw by Timmy Chang. 40-yard touchdown pass by Tim Chang for Tim Chang, his 21st touchdown pass of the year. 
And for Chad Owens, his seventh touchdown reception. So Hawaii has come back instantly to tie it. Justin Ayat trying to give Hawaii the lead for the first time. It is up, and it is good. All right. You know, before every game, you have team goals, and one of the team goals, I'm sure, on every team's chart is not to give up any big plays, and Nevada that time gave up two plays in a row, an interception and a big uh, touchdown pass. Incredibly agile, sport tuned IS. It gives me meaning to owning the road. See your Southern California Lexus dealer. Hobby people, big beautiful stores, giant selection, high quality, discount prices, friendly staff. Now featuring the exciting RC Atomic Z cars and the Hot X Factor Monster Truck. For a store near you, call 866 Hobby for you or click on hobbypeople.net. Use your cell phone just for the calls you choose to make. Get Nextel's free incoming calling plan for $59.99 a month and get all your incoming cellular calls for free. One-year agreement, account setup fee, taxes, fees, and other charges apply. Nextel, done. All next week on the SoCal Sports Report, we're getting you ready for the Crosstown Showdown between USC and UCLA. We'll report from each campus as the Trojans and the Bruins get ready for this year's version of The View. Petros Papadakis and Matt Stevens will break down the game and possibly each other. Yes! Yes! It's a red letter game! All this plus live post-game coverage from the Coliseum. The SoCal Sports Report, Idea 10. CPB, Central Pacific Bank, sponsors the Loyalty Award by donating $100 toward the Central Pacific Endowed Scholarship Fund. Hawaii has just scored their first touchdown. And the Warriors hope to add more as this game goes along. CPB, fiercely loyal banking. Landing hand and man are deep. Kicking off will be our yacht. Ten minutes and 48 seconds left in the third. Hawaii. Lightning quick takes the lead back. We'll go to Mann. 27 yard return last time. Mann is bottled up as he crosses the 15. He may be short of the 20, and he is. Gets it out only to the 19 yard line, and it will be first down for Nevada there. So an interception, a badly thrown ball, an interception by Ilamimi. First play of the second half. Tim Chang. Mom, boys, Jay, Joe, that man. And don't forget the penalty in between the interception, the big penalty, and then the big uh, touchdown pass. You are correct, sir. First down for Nevada, trailing for the first time in this game. Man is flanked to the far side and flowers to the near side. Kretschmer behind Heiser. Heiser fumbles the ball. Ball is loose and is picked up by LaBoy. Touchdown! Travis LaBoy. He's just, he's all right. All world. Sack man. Tackles for losses. Now he's got a touchdown. Travis LaBoy is just everywhere on the field. Every game he plays. It's a good, good play by uh, Travis LaBoy. Great. Travis LaBoy, 19 yard fumble return. That ball just popped away from Heiser. Now Hawaii leads 13 to 6. What a turnaround. Second half has just started. That's just awareness by LaBoy, because a lot of guys will see the ball on the ground and they'll just jump on it right away. Now he picks it up and runs it in for a touchdown. Ayat trying to make it 14 to 6. And he does. We'll have you uh, discern this play along with us as we take a look here. Watch. Heiser goes back. The ball just comes out. He may have, uh, he may have contacted Kretschmer, but there, man on the spot, LeBoy. Yeah, you know, in this weather, this cold weather, the ball, the letter gets hard. It's like a rock. It's easy to come out. And uh, that, that looks like that's what happened to Heiser there because, it, you know, I don't think he touched Kretschmer. The ball just came out. 
the boy lightning quick picks it up and goes in. So it is now 14 to 6. Away shockingly quick taking the lead back and then adding to it. Second turnover of the game for Nevada. And they have come in rapid succession. And Nevada's got to try and bounce back here because they've been in this situation. They've lost three in a row. And uh, if they don't bounce back here on this series, they're, they're in trouble. Kicking off will be Ayat. Hawaii leading 14 to 6. Well, we'll go deep into the end zone and then out of it. Nevada will start at the 20. It was a great kick by Ayat. Oh, yeah, he didn't even land in the end zone. He landed behind the end zone. So someone has said something to Justin Ayat. He has come out with a rejuvenated leg here in the second half. So here comes Nevada. They trail. First down from the 20. Fetchmer behind Heiser. Man and Tony Moore are the wide receivers flanked to the near side. Long count. Heiser first and 10 from the 20. Kretschmer. Chased down from behind and spilled. Manuta. Looks like Abu Ma'afala there. And the Abu Ma'afala 94. There he is. I think that's the first time he's gotten in. So they send in a fresh lineman. He makes a nice swim move. That's Abu's move. He likes to swim right off the bat. He's really good at it. He's got a good quick move. He caught the offensive lineman by surprise. Got into the backfield and made a great tackle on Kretschmann. Second down and 10 for Nevada. Heiser, short pass. That's complete. And right there, Hiram Peters. Peters, tackling man. After a very short game from the 20 out to the 23-yard line, that will bring up third down for Nevada. And Hawaii just looks rejuvenated out there, Jim. They look like they've got the energy, and Nevada doesn't. You know, it's 2 o'clock in the afternoon here in Reno, and it's... It looks like it's 6. It's dark. Yes, right. The sun is gone. Johnson to the near side. They spread the formation double wide. So they come out in the shotgun, the Hawaii offense. Heiser trying to convert on this third down. Heiser, this has, has time, throws low. Man goes down, and they say he made the catch. That's a first down for Nevada. Out on the 36-yard line. That was a low pass by Heiser. A nice catch by Man. Hiram Peters there to make the stop. Excellent play. There you see, man, he'll go down for the ball. Yeah, he, that's a good play. He, he caught it right in his arms, cradled it, brought it in, and then went down. Starting to rain now. And it is not the warm, refreshing rain that you get in the Hawaiian Islands. This rain is cold. Ball is given to Kretschmer, breaking tackles into the secondary, still on his feet, out over midfield, and down to the Hawaii 48-yard line. And, and you know, Nevada, they got down, and they started going back to their main man, Kretschmer. They ran him two times, and they threw a pass, and now they run him again. And he's just really good. He's a really strong runner. He's got big calves, big thighs. He's hard to bring down. Kretschmer with a 14-yard gain on that last play. That's for now 13 carries for 46 yards in the game. First down at the 48-yard line of Hawaii. Nevada trying to come back. They swing it out, and the ball is tipped at the line of scrimmage. And Alan Jackson got a, got a hand on it. Again. So right after a nice big run by Kretschmer, Nevada comes back with a play-action pass. And uh, Alan Jackson just got up in the air, got his hand on it. Kevin Jackson, excuse me. Nice job by Kevin Jackson. Second down and 10 from the 48-yard line of Hawaii. Alan Jackson is uh, one of my favorite country singers. <laughs> He's certainly not out there playing football today. That's true. Kretschmer, the single setback behind Heiser. Second down and 10. Heiser keeps it with time. 
Sideline pattern that's complete to Flowers. And Flowers gets hit immediately by Illuminium, and we have a late flag. <laughs> Roughing the passer on Hawaii. You know, that might have been on uh, Mel Purcell. It looked like he was in the area and the flag was gone. The Heiser certainly had time to figure out the defense on that last play. Rough the passer from the defense. 15 yards from the end of the run. Automatic first down. First down for Nevada. They try to take advantage now of the big penalty. Uh -huh. He's moved to the 29-yard line of Hawaii. He wasn't against y'all. Johnson and Mann are the wide receivers again. Double tight end. Ball at the 29-yard line. Talib Wise has come into the backfield replacing Kretschmer. Keeping his hyzer. Throws it. Angle pass. That is complete to Johnson. Johnson has a first down. At about the 18-yard line. Game on the play of the 11. Yeah, the short big throw to the Hello. big receiver. Good, good protection. The ball looked like it was tipped. But Johnson is so big, he's 6'4". Comes down with the ball. You see Kelvin Milhouse on the coverage there. Kelvin Milhouse, he's been there all night. He's, he's been playing a good game. He's good coverage as Johnson made a nice play on that ball. Leonard Peters finally made the stop. First down. Ball at the 19. Game in a play of 10. Wise remains in the backfield. 14 to 6. Hawaii leading, but Nevada moving. This is Wise trying to turn the corner. Being chased. Wise written down by Hiram Peters. Wise trying to stiff arm his way by Peters, able to move the ball inside the 15 to the 12 yard line. And Peters that time playing the rover position, comes up and makes a play. When, when Peters plays a rover, they move David Gilmore over to strong safety and bring in Leonard Peters as a free safety. So here comes Nevada. They trail for the first time in this game. Trail 7-6, and then Hawaii with a fumble recovery for a touchdown by Travis LeBoy, leading 14-6. This is Wise with running work. Wise trying to turn the corner. He does it to 10. He's at the 5, and they chase him out of bounds at about the 2-yard line. Yeah. Talib Wise, very elusive, very quick. David Gilmore saved the touchdown. The offense was set strong to the left, so the defense set strong to the left. They were, they were set. And Wise, when he got the ball, saw that there was no hole there, so he cut it backside. When he cut it backside, nobody was there to tackle him. You see Gilmore coming over the top to make the tackle. Ball is on the two, first and goal to go. Crutchman now has come back in. Heiser behind that double tight end offensive line. First and goal from the two, Crutchman. Kretschmer hit at the two and lunges to the one. Elamimian coming up from the secondary. We have a penalty flag. <laughs> Offside on Hawaii. So Hawaii really backed up to the edge of the precipice here. Yeah, you saw Nevada on that last play try to go with the off tackle running play. I don't think they'll try to dive it up the middle. I'd be surprised because, you know, with those two tackles of Hawaii, they're really good at stuffing the inside run. That's Samu Seba and uh, Sopoanga. Offside, defense, half the distance to the goal, replay first down. So first and goal to go. Here comes Nevada. They will come out again with the double tight end. are wanting the crowd to quiet here. Kretschmer waits. See if he gets the opportunity to score. The motion is made. It is Kretschmer diving into the end zone for the touchdown. Kretschmer goes airborne. Wait, did he go airborne? 
He jumped so high, he jumped over the whole pile, landed on his feet in the end zone. Twelfth rushing touchdown of the year. Kretschmer now 14 carries for 47 yards in the game. And Nevada right back in it. 6-17 left to play in the third period. It is now 14 to 12. Nevada will go for two, trying to tie it. No, they won't. No, they won't. Yes, they will. The lead is in there, along with Kretschmer. The motion is Johnson. Heiser throws, throws it low. What pressure by LeBoy. LeBoy, with his action, saved the Hawaii lead. And it remains 14 to 12, Hawaii. LeBoy showed up in a hurry, and it took away the angle from Heiser. The politicians pledged to repeal the registration fee increase. We beat them to it. Buick now gives you bonus cash to help cover the increased costs of your California license and registration fees. Think of it. On top of your choice of great cash back offers or interest-free financing on every new Buick, we deliver bonus cash for license and registration fees. Move up to the quality at your Southern California Buick dealer today. It's a Fox NFL Sunday doubleheader this weekend. The ultimate fantasy football show. We know who to start, who to sit, who's a stud, and who's a dud. The hidden gems. You know what you don't. Weekends on Fox Sports Net. Tonight on the Southern California Sports Report, complete highlights, interviews, and analysis of the Trojans and the Bruins, both in action. Plus, the Clippers host, T-Mac. And the not so magical magic. It's the SESR tonight at 10. Six seventeen left to play in the third quarter. Way has run in the second half. One play. That's it. Forty yard touchdown pass from Ching to Chan on. One play, but it was a doozy Ching. It was. Eric Jones kicking off. Ball is fumbled in the end zone. And bringing the ball out is West to the 15. And he gets out to the 19 yard line. Carl Legron finally halted his progress. And that's another one, Jim. He probably would have been uh, better off. He just took it in the end zone. He fumbled it, uh, but he brought it out, and he's lucky he got it out to the 20. Close to well, the 19, if he stayed in the end zone, he would have gained one more yard. So it is first down for Hawaii. Jimmy Chang is the quarterback. Bass has now come back into the backfield with Chang. Chang with time, throws, that's batted in the air, intercepted, and into the end zone is Derek Kennard. And the battle right back up on top. Talk about a teeter-totter game. Nevada leads it now 18 to 14. Timmy Chang is intercepted this year for the 14th time. First turnover for Hawaii in the game. Ball was tipped. Somebody tipped the ball. It was up in the air for a very long time. Kennard ran under it and just happened to be there. But Kennard was not the guy who tipped the ball. An 11 yard touchdown return, an interception return by Kennard. For Kennard, that is his second interception of the season and his first interception with a touchdown. Going for two. Kretschmer. 
In the backfield, Heiser throws for the sideline. That's complete, but it's short. It was complete to Maurice Mann. That's great coverage up by number 33, Hiram Peters that time. And Mann should have probably tried to stay closer to the end zone. He, you know, when he broke, he came back out of the end zone, took himself out of scoring position. There you see the interception by Kennard. Try another angle here. See who tips it. And the, and the tip was by uh, number 19. It's Carl Legron. So Legron tips it. Excellent play. And Kennard did the rest. Waited for the ball to float down. Nuzzled it in. High step to the end zone. Nevada now leads 18-14. With 6.06 left to play in the third period. So both teams have been able to turn the tables on each other. First, Hawaii going up by a 14 to 6 score. Nevada coming back with an excellent drive for the touchdown and the turnover. Hawaii taking a fumble into the end zone, LeBoy, and then Kretschmer returning the interception into the end zone for the, the uh, Wolfpack. Derek Jones will kick off. And again, deep will be John West. West running to the far side. West watches it bounce through the end zone, and Hawaii will begin at the 20. So it has turned into quite a game here in the third period after that first half that saw only field goals. Hey, you know, uh, Derek Jones, number 37, just kickers for Nevada. He's doing a good job of making John West run for the ball. Wherever John West is lined up in the end zone to receive the ball, he's kicking it to the other side, either right or left, and he's pretty accurate. So Hawaii will begin at the 20. Chang is back there with Mike Bass. Triple wide receiver to the right. Chang in trouble. Deep trouble. Sack him inside the five-yard line. J.D. Morsha and Jorge Cordova. They will share the sack. We mentioned at the start of the second half, that offensive line has got to give Tim Chang more time. And Morsha comes in on a blitz from his linebacker position, and nobody picks him up. Usually you got a running back there spying the linebacker, trying to catch the blitz. That time nobody picked him up. And he made Chang step back and run into the arms of Kurt Hogan. Second down and 22. The ball at the eight-yard line for Hawaii. Tim Chang waiting for the snap from center. Gets it. Hands it to Bass. Bass eludes one tackler, but not another. Gets out to about the 12. And you see Bass in there, Jim. I believe that number 16, West Kenny Kipi, has been hurt. He's in the second quarter. I saw him on the sidelines with crutches. And he's their big back, their blocking back, and they would probably have him in there if he were healthy. Drakus Langford made the stop for Nevada. Under five minutes left to play in the third period. Hawaii five for ten on third down conversion. This is third and 18. John West. West trying to get the first down. Out to the 30. That's enough. He fumbles the ball. He fumbles the ball. And let's see if Nevada comes up with it. They do. Second turnover. And it came after a brilliant run by John West. West exploring the secondary. It's an incredible one run by John West. He didn't think he had a chance when he broke through the, the uh, line of scrimmage. He makes it all the way out to the 21, the 31 for the first down. There you see him. And he coughs up the ball. You see number 39 there, Keone Kawo with his hand in on the ball and knock it out. Darrell Towns made the first contact with him. He had enough of the first down. It turns around again. Here's Nevada first down on the Hawaii 31. Talib Wise, single setback behind Heiser. Heiser fakes the handoff, throws over the middle. Wide open was Mann. The ball slightly behind him, unable to hold on. He caught that ball in a pasture. And he was wide open and he was running. You see the play action fake. Wise just breaking a man just breaking across the widow. 
the middle, Kaiser hits him late, he throws the ball behind him. Otherwise, that could have been another touchdown. Second down and 10 for Nevada, the 31 yard line of Hawaii. Johnson, Flowers, man, flanked to the right. Single setback is Wise. It is Wise. Wise knifing into the secondary, leaving tacklers in his way. Gets all the way down to the 21. That could be enough for a first down. Yeah, and again, earlier Wise had a nice run on the backside. I believe it was a touchdown run. Again, he, he gets the ball, the front side, the strong side, where the, where the play is designated to go. There's nothing there. There's no hole. He breaks the backside, and nobody's there to tackle him. That's enough for a first down 10-yard gain. The ball just outside the 20. Here comes Nevada again. Flowers is to the left and man to the right. Kaiser, the quarterback for the Wolfpack. They lead 18-14 in this game. They want more. Kaiser steps up in the pocket, throws sideline. That is complete. Just short of the 10-yard line to man. Covering on the play was Milhouse. And Milhouse very, very close to the interception that time. They both got their hands on the ball. And a man came down with it. But Milhouse is right there. He almost had the interception. You see the throw. Milhouse breaks on the ball, gets his hand in there. See how the ball actually went through his hands into the receiver's hands. Fraction of a second late. Second down and one for the first down. The ball at the 11. Wise remains a single setback. Double wide receiver to the left. Heiser eyeing that end zone. Turns, fakes the handoff, throws to the end zone, off the fingertips of the intended receiver. The intended receiver was Anthony Puttawa. Covering on the play was Ikaika Kernan. Yeah, Puttawa, they don't use him a lot. He's got uh, 12 catches for 122 yards this year, but he's a good athlete. And that time, Ikaika Kernan was in pursuit, in coverage, and just... Uh, the ball was thrown too far, too far ahead of Putwell. Putwell from El Dorado Hills, California. About a three for eight on third down conversions. Big one right here, but short yardage. Kretschmer comes back into the backfield behind Heiser. Again, the double tight end. In motion is man. Kretschmer. Kretschmer gets the first down. Able to power the ball to the nine. That's enough. It will be first down, goal to go for Nevada. 3-11 left to play in the third period. The way he led 14-6. Nevada has come storming back. They lead 18-14, and they are nine yards away from scoring again. You see Kretschmer, he gets to the line of scrimmage. No hole. He just leans in and starts driving his feet. Gets the first down. Flowers and man are flanked to the left. Heiser. Wants the screen, not there yet, throws it out of bounds. Hawaii did a good job of penetrating into the screen. When Mel Purcell got held that time, he'd beaten the tackle, number 74, Harvey Dahl, and uh, Dahl just dragged him to the ground, pulled him down. Should have been a, pla a flag for Purcell, but good pursuit by, good pressure by Purcell. Ball just inside the 10. Second down, goal to go. Triple wide receiver to the left. Kretschmer. Kretschmer gets a couple. Middle of that line again for Hawaii. And Chad Kalilimoku, Sapuwanga, Samu Sebra. Abu Ma'afala comes in from that defensive front. Clock ticking, 2.17 left in the third. Big third down play now for Nevada. Heiser, the throw, pump fakes, throws, and somebody got to him. It was Purcell. Purcell was able to penetrate into the wall of coverage. And he bothered Heiser enough, so he threw it into the ground. So yeah. that'll bring up fourth down. It looked like Nevada was trying to go for the, the short passage and the quick play. Damon Fine comes in. 28-yard field goal, 42-yard field goal in the first half. Take another look. Purcell reaching in there. 
may have made contact with the arm of Heiser. Here's Damon Fine trying for his third field goal of the game. It is up. He drills it. It is good. So three more points are added on. It is now 21 to 14 in favor of Nevada over Hawaii. But Hawaii does hold Nevada out. Yeah. It's, so far, it's been a pretty even game, Jim. The difference has been the kicking game. Uh, Nevada's made three field goals, field goals, and uh, Hawaii's made none. You know, you, you always hear coaches talking about the three phases of the game. You got offense, you got defense, and it might surprise a lot of people to hear that coaches feel that kicking, the kicking game, is an equal part of that the game, uh, one third of the game. And you see here, this game tonight is a perfect example of how important it can be, because that's what it's come down to so far. Nine plays, 23-yard field goal, two minutes and 36 seconds of elapsed time. I said 23, it's 25-yard field goal by Damon Fine. And he has been just that on this dark afternoon. Derek Jones will kick off. John West is deep again. This third quarter has uh, been in stark contrast to what we saw in the first half. Just field goal. They've been up and down this field. Jones kicks off into the corner. Here's West. He's going to return it again. West at the 10. West at the 15. And down he goes. West ran right into the pursuit. And the blue shirts knock him down. So Hawaii will start deep in their own territory again. One minute, 53 seconds left to play in the third period. Yeah, and Hawaii's got to make something happen because they won't have too many more chances to do it. This offense Nevada has can eat up the clock. West remains in the backfield with Tim Chang. Cochran is flanked to the near side. He's picked up in single coverage by landing him. Triple wide receiver now to the left. First down from the 16. Chang in trouble. Chang dancing. Throws over the middle. Throws it low and wide of Cochran. Good pressure again uh, by Nevada. In fact, Jorge Cordova. So much pressure, he lost his shoe. Yeah, and he, he had a good pass show that time. Uh, beat the left tackle, Jeremy Inferrer, but the left guard, Samson Santella, right there to help him out, back him up. They're double teaming him a lot, and you see, I, I said earlier, we talked about how they're going to move him around. He was on the right side earlier facing Eaton. Now they move him over to the left side, and he's going against Inferrer. Britton Comini has come into the game. Comini was just a force last year. With 230 yards. They throw it long for Kamini, double coverage. They had sandwiched him at about the 38 yard line. Yeah. That'll bring up third down and 10. Excellent coverage. Kauo and Pratt. Yeah, and Kamini is hurt. He's not 100%. He's got that sore calf. Kimmy Chang threw it to pro probably, looked like he probably threw it to where a healthy Kamini would have been. Trying to lead him. 114 left to play in the third. Way in the game, five for 11 in third downs. Ten yards to go here on third down, long yardage. Kamini is flanked to the far side. Chang. Chang may run. He will run. 20, 21, that's all. That is short of the first down. He had to go to the 26 yard line. Credit the defense of Nevada, especially in the second day, combined with good pressure, and then taking away the options from Tim Chang until he was left with only running. Yeah, good, uh, good coverage, like you said, by Nevada. Good protection by Hawaii's offensive line. They gave Timmy Chang time. When he stepped up into the pocket, he had room. Just good coverage by Nevada's uh, defensive backfield. Kurt Milne into punt for Hawaii. Alex Rosenblum is deep for Nevada. High snap. Not a good punt. Comes up over midfield. Takes a Hawaii bounce. Picked up on the run by Rosenblum. But as soon as he picked it up, they blew the whistle. He might have, it might have looked like he caught off a fair catch or something. Uh, 
So that's what they are saying. 39 yard punt. That's the average for Milne. Got a good bounce. First down for Nevada. I always thought if you, if you call for a fair catch and then you try to run it, I always thought that was a penalty. I guess not. Here you see Chris Corner. Army, as we mentioned, in the corner. He needs this game. Kretschmer in the game as they single setback. Waning seconds of the third quarter. This is Kretschmer chased down from behind by LeBoy. LeBoy instantaneously in that, in that uh, offensive secondary, in that backfield. And he just chased Kretschmer down. Good job by LeBoy. Number nine, 99, Louis Fuma was there also. He beaten his block. He was there to help out on the tackle. Second down and 10 from the belt. So the seconds ticking off in the third period. From the shotgun, triple wide receiver to the right from the belt. Ball is given on the delay. Kretschmer, Kretschmer, ankle tackle. Ankle tackle by Samuseva. Yeah, there were two ankle tackles that time. Number 71, Steve Church, the center, ankle tackle Samu Sevo while he was ankle tackling Kretschmer. They were kind of stretched out there, right? <laughs> That's the end of the third quarter. It is Nevada leading. Oh, we had a teeter-totter third quarter. First Hawaii with the advantage, then Nevada. And the Wolfpack leading 21 to 14 over the Warriors. These are probably Toyota certified used vehicles. So are these, and these. Because Toyota is the number one selling certified used vehicle in America for reasons like our 160 point quality inspection, six year 100,000 mile powertrain warranty with 24 hour roadside assistance. And now with super low 3.9 financing, you'll see even more Toyota certified used vehicles on the road. So see your Toyota dealer where the best new cars make the best used cars. Hobby people, big beautiful stores, giant selection, high quality discount prices, friendly staff, it all adds up to excitement. Hobby people has from the smallest RC cars to the hot X-Factor four-wheel drive, nitro-powered, ready-to-run monster truck at $449.99. Check out the super fun lightning, ready-to-fly electric trainer, it's only $79.99. And the coolest collectible die-cast model starting at $12.99. Get your excitement now. Call 866-HOBBY-FOR-YOU or click on hobbypeople.net for a store near you. In every town across this country, there is untapped potential markets for our cigarettes. Ethnic neighborhoods, for example. Well, what we do is uh, we move in and become part of the community. We help out wherever we can, uh, help small businesses, uh, donate to ethnic community organizations. Money buys legitimacy. Well, it's donations uh, in the form of scholarships, things like that. And, uh, well, we're rewarded with new smokers. It doesn't cost us a lot to become a friend in these communities. But it sure pays off. <laughs> It sure does. <laughs> I am so hungover. And you've got to be at work in an hour. How come you feel so good? You drank more than I did. I took Chaser, remember? Chaser? Chaser Cablets. You take them right after you start drinking, and you're guaranteed never to get a hangover. Chaser is clinically proven safe and effective. It absorbs hangover-causing toxins like a sponge, so you can wake up feeling alert and energetic, not hungover. Looks like you should have taken Chaser, too. Buy Chaser today at GNC, Walgreens, and these other fine stores. <laughs> this presentation of Western Athletic Conference football is sponsored by Budweiser with the crisp, clean, refreshing taste you'll find in no other beer. That, the greatness, is the sky above Reno, Nevada. You see the rain drops on the lens as we come into Mackey Stadium. We begin the fourth period of play. It is 21 to 14 in favor of Nevada, and they have a third down and six from their own 44-yard line. Heiser has played a very solid game. Heiser to throw. That is complete. Making the catch on his knees is Johnson. And Johnson thinking he was in the National Football League. Got up and started running again, but he's in the NCAA. A good play nonetheless. All the way to the 45-yard line of Hawaii. An 11-yard game. And Johnson, when he caught that ball, was wide open. Right in the middle of that zone. You have to be impressed with the way Nevada 
has called their plays running passing. They have driven this defense for Hawaii crazy this afternoon. Heiser just into the fourth quarter first and 10 from the Hawaii 45. Kretschmer. They fake the Kretschmer throw down the sidelines and really nobody there but we have a flag called that could be a new house. Always intended for flowers whether it was a catchable pass remains to be seen. Interference against Hawaii. We have uh, problems with uh, referee LeBen's mic. You see good protection here by the uh, Nevada offensive line. Good play fake by Heis Heiser and Kretschmer. And that ball was overthrown. Couldn't have been caught. Uh, you don't questionable think that was a good call. call. Yeah, questionable that. call. Always that element of whether the ball could be caught or not. And the flag came in. I won't say exactly late, but the flag came in delayed. Now the officials are uh, meeting again. Now, if you're a WAC official, you have to be right in your calls because you could get suspended. That's right. The last group to officiate a Hawaii game been uh, suspended. That's the group at San Jose State, right? I think they're trying to reset the clock. The referees. Uh, We're going to reset it to 1427. The referee's uh, ability to talk to us has been interrupted. You know, this team, this Nevada team, uh, they're 5-5. Five and five. But a little less than a month ago, they were 5-2. and two. They had gone into Seattle and beat University of Washington. So they do know how to win. And they have played and been successful against big-time, uh, bigger programs. You know, they're putting it together tonight so far. You say tonight. It looks like it's tonight, tonight but yeah. it's it's in the afternoon. You know, I, I've, I've watched games like this on TV before, and I I don't think you can appreciate how cold it really is until you're actually here. Because from Hawaii, you're watching from 70, 80, 90 degree weather, and you're thinking, no, oh, it can't be that cold. But it is. First down. Ball at the 33-yard line of Hawaii following the inter- penalty. Heiser throws as he's hit. Coming in again was uh, Purcell. No, Purcell showed up on Heiser's doorstep in a hurry. Second down and ten. But to show how aware and how key Hawaii's defense is on Chance Kretschmer, that was a play, that was a play action fake pass. And when Kretschmer fake getting the ball, Travis LeBoy stuck his helmet right in Kretschmer's chest. Everybody thought Kretschmer would get the ball at least 35 times. He's carried 18 times for 54 yards and one touchdown. Wise has carried the ball eight times for 53 yards. Second down and 10. Double wide receiver to the left. Heiser on a delay. Kretschmer trying to get the hold. Kaika Kernan halts his progress. Kernan came in as the leading tackler on this. University of Hawaii team Travis Lavoy coming over from his position on that defensive end to help out again. Yeah, and we ran into uh, Ikaika's dad. He's on our flight over here, Marty Kernan, and uh, he he uh, straightened it out for us. He, you know, we were saying Kernan, Kernan, and he said it is Kernan. So we're saying Kernan now. Ikaika Kernan. His grandmother was very upset last year. Nevada on third down, 5 for 11 in the game. Pump faking is Heiser trying to get outside, being chased by Purcell. Purcell cannot trip him up, and Heiser gets the first down. So a first down for Nevada. Heiser taking the responsibility himself. Chased mightily from behind by Mel Purcell. Purcell just couldn't catch it. And for a defense, You've got to protect against a great running back. We've got big, strong receivers. If the quarterback decides to pull it down and run, boy, you're out on a limb. 
Kaiser. First down from the 21. Wise in the backfield. Heiser rolling. Throws for the end zone. And nobody there. Nobody there. Some pattern not being run or Heiser just perhaps trying to throw it away as everyone was covered. Well, well, I think that's the third time, at least the third time I've seen in this game where Heiser has thrown to an area where, where he thinks the receiver is supposed to be, and the receiver just hasn't been on the same page. And these are young receivers and junior college transfers, so that kind of stuff will happen. Second down and 10 at the 21 yard line for Nevada. Man to the left, and Flowers to the right. Wise carrying. Wise to the 15, to the 14-yard line. Good job following his interference. Hernan making the stop for Hawaii. But Nevada knocking on the door again, deep in the red zone. Yeah, number 79, Isaiah Ross, pulls out of his right guard position as a lead blocker. And uh, Talib Wise, number 13, you know, being very wise and staying behind his offensive line. Another third down situation for Nevada. Third down and four. Hawaii jumps offside. Kalili Moku. Offside against Hawaii. They threw that fly very quickly. Yeah, and I think when you jump offsides, I believe you can get back. If you get back in time before the snap, it's okay. But if you jump off sides and make contact, it's an automatic penalty. And that time, Kalili Limoku jumped off sides, and I think he, kind of, he touched the center's helmet. First down, goal to go, following that offside penalty by Hawaii. And the ball just inside the 10 yard line. Talib Wise will get the handoff, following his interference, turning the corner, and then stumbling, slipping, as he gets up to about the seven. Kevin Milhouse bothered him on that play. And it looked like the same play. They pulled the right guard number 79, Alexander Ross, 6'3", 322 pounds. They pull him out, and Wise just falls in right behind him. He just couldn't keep his foot in there around the corner, trying to make that turn. So the ball is at the eight. Here comes Nevada again. Flowers to the left, man to the right, double tight ends. And Wise behind Heiser. Heiser on a delay. Wise hit at the line of scrimmage where you can hear the crack up here. Spun, got away from Louis Funga and advanced the ball to the to the five yard line. And Louis Funga getting good penetration that time. Makes a nice hit on Wise. Just doesn't wrap up. And I, I had a talk with him uh, again before the San Jose State game, and he, he said, you know, I'm getting in the backfield dugout, just not wrapping up, not wrapping up. So he knows what he has to do. That time he made it. Did a good move on the offensive line. Got in the backfield, just couldn't wrap up. Didn't wrap up. So the ball inside the four. Kaiser gives it to Wise again. He's in trouble. And they have him outside the five-yard line. The Hawaii defense, Chad Kalilimoku leading the white shirts. And we'll have another field goal attempt by Damon Fine. And this will be like an extra point. Fine has hit three on the day, 28-42-25. So this will be a 23-yarder. 21 to 14 with 11-21 left to play in the game. Nevada trying to add to its total. Kaiser will wait for the snap from center. From J.J. Milan, kick is up, and it is good. Fine. Will sleep well tonight. Four field goals. That's 12 points. Damon Fine. Nevada adds to its lead. 24-14. Guys, let him depart. We have no stomach for this fight. But we shall be remembered. We few. We happy few. We band of brothers. 
We banned them. Get what you need from the internet faster. Get SBC Yahoo DSL for just $26.95 a month when you sign up online. And you can win a trip to the Nokia Sugar Bowl. One more way, we bring it all home. They are highly skilled, with nerves of steel, and a killer instinct. Who are they? The world's greatest liars. It's a Thanksgiving Day Marathon showdown at the Sands Atlantic City on Fox Sports Net. Over the last 10 years, Fox NFL Sunday has been America's number one pregame show. This is exactly what I expected. <laughs> Fox NFL Sunday, this week. All next week on the SoCal Sports Report, we're getting you ready for the Crosstown Showdown between USC and UCLA. We'll report from each campus as the Trojans and the Bruins get ready for this year's version of The View. Petros Papadakis and Matt Stevens will break down the game and possibly each other. Yes! Yes! It's a red letter game! <laughs> All this plus live post-game coverage from the Coliseum. The SoCal Sports Report, nightly at 10. Nevada behind at one time in this game, 14 to 6 in the third period. Now leads by 10, 24 to 14. 54 yard, 12 play drive, 23 yard field goal by that kicker, Damon Fine. It's his fourth field goal of the game. Derek Jones will kick off for Nevada. Kicks it back into the end zone. And that'll be end zone. Hawaii begins at the 20-yard line. And Hawaii is going to do something to get back in this game and challenge for the win. Now would be a good time to start it with 11.08 left to play. 11.08 left to play. They've got to score twice, and they've got to keep Nevada from scoring. And with the, the way Fine has been kicking, Nevada's just got to get down to the 30 or 35, and, you know, it's uh, almost automatic. Jimmy Chang in the second half, one for four, only 39 yards, and one interception. But he has thrown for that touchdown to Chad Owen on the first play of the second half. Timeout has been called. Timeout, I believe, has been called by Nevada. At least they pointed that way. So the Wolfpack burning their, I believe, second timeout here in the second half. They have one left. Hawaii has all three timeouts left. Yeah. And after that San Jose State game, you know, we're, keeping, we're keeping really good tabs on the timeouts. Chang is 16 for 29, 186 yards. Heiser, 15 for 28, 169 yards. Both have been intercepted once. They're here in record numbers at all 57 Toyota dealers. Right now, get an incredible zero drive-off lease on a brand new 04 Camry. Then pay only $269 a month for 36 months. Or choose $750 cash back or low $29 financing. Get $500 cash back on a new Tacoma or $750 back on a new Tundra. That's right, zero drive-off or cash back at your Toyota dealer today. Stop them. He must sink them. Fire! Master and Commander, rated PG-13, now playing Ultimate Fantasy Football Show. We know who to start, who to sit, who's a stud, and who's a dud. The hidden gems. We know what you don't. Weekends on Fox Sports Net. Divisional leaders collide. Kachuk and Ponder power the Blues. Ziggy Palfi leads the Kings. Something has to give. Blues, Kings, today at 1 on Fox Sports Net. Hawaii fans looking rather glum here in the fourth period. Hawaii down by 10. First down for Hawaii at the 20-yard line. 
They come out on that shotgun. Tim Chang. Here comes the blitz. Chang throws, throws low. Ball was intended for Chad Owens. Yeah, and a good time that time of protecting by the offensive line. I think the ball, Jim, I think it's just, it's cold. It affects the leather on the ball. It gets harder. And uh, you, you can't practice throwing a cold ball in Hawaii. Timmy Chang's just not used to it because he threw that ball low. Probably just coming out of his hand in a different way, something the way he's not used to. Second down and 10. Hawaii has completed one long pass. The whole afternoon, and that was to Chad Owen, 40 yarder for the touchdown. Chang with time, throw sideline pattern. and Owens has it at the 43 yard line, and he's out of bounds immediately. So that time, Timmy Chang and Owens connecting again. It was a great pass by Timmy that time, right on the money. Chad Owens breaking to the outside in the zone, he's in coverage, goes up and brings on the ball. It's a perfect throw by Timmy Chang. Break this Langford covering on the play. 25 yard gain. You see there how Brent Comini, the, the wide receiver, takes the corner long and then uh, Chad Owens breaks underneath him, creating some space. Cochran is flanked to the far side, picked up by Paul Pratt defensively for Nevada. First down for Hawaii. They have the ball at their own 45. Chang in trouble, retreating, still retreating. Now throws, coming back to get it, and then it's intercepted. Picked off. Daryl Towns. Timmy just tried to force it in there that time. And Towns, in blue, stepped in front and picked it off. Second interception of the game, and that one really hurts. Let's take a look at this. Timmy Chang gets the ball, and I think he feels pressure right there. But it's Derek Faabi. It's not a defensive lineman, because he, he kind of jumps away from Faabi. He doesn't step up into the pocket. He backs up. And it creates a better lane for Cordova to chase him. More pressure. And he just tried to get rid of the ball. See if, he, see if he tried to force this in here. Trying to yeah, force it in. And he threw that into a crowd. Tried to get it to um, uh, tried to get it to Owens. Towns with the interception. Wise. High stepping up the middle. Line of scrimmage being the 40. Finally stopped at the 35 yard line. Chad Kalilimoku making the stop. Now, Nevada can use the clock, stick to the ground, rack up the first downs, and seal the win. Yeah, just keep running the ball, run out the clock, and if they get stopped, they're in field goal range right now, or will be shortly. Heiser with Wise behind him. It is Wise. Wise leaping for the first down. Gets the ball inside the 30-yard line. That's a first down for Nevada. Samu Seba and Kalili Moku making the stop for Hawaii. So the Warriors, that defense has been on the field much in the second half. And they've played good, Jim. They've played a good game. They might be tired. It could be tight. They're at least cold. Heiser, first and 10 from the Hawaii 30 yard line. Again, it is wise following his interference, trying to turn the corner, spins, and Hiram Peters grabs him around the knees and rides him to the turf. In the play of three, and the clock ticking. A great job that time uh, by the defensive line of stretching that play out, making him run laterally. And so UH now with 12 first downs and Nevada with 22. That's a big difference there. It's a huge uh, difference in first downs. Well, the Nevada offense has been much more effective than the Hawaii offense, that's for sure, in this game. And that statistic proves it. Second down and seven from the 27 yard line. Kretschmer back in as a single setback. See if they pound him here on this play. They do. Kretschmer with a hole. Gets to the 25, to the 24, Alapa grabbing him to make the tackle. You see how strong Kretschmer is. Alapa attacks him, hits him. He still doesn't go down. Alapa's got to wrap up and squeeze around his ankles to get him to go down. Very strong run. Kretschmer powers the ball 
to the 24-yard line. Kretschmer now in the game, 20 carries for 60 yards. About a six for 13 in third down conversions in the game, but that really hasn't hampered them. They've had some big conversions. Third down, four and a half. Kaiser is sacked from behind, fumbles the ball. David Gilmore came off the edge. Gilmore coming up from the secondary. Looks like Gilmore walks up to the line here from his safety position, comes in on a blitz. Heiser doesn't see him, gets drilled, and almost gives up the fumble. It is fourth down. Guess who's back on the field? Doug, guess who's back on the field? Uh, fine. Damon Fine. He's been more than fine. He's been spectacular. 47-yard attempt out of the hold of Heiser. He's four for four. On its way, it is not good. You probably remember that all night. The only <laughs> one that he missed. Yeah. That's good news, great news for Hawaii. You know, they're only down by 10 now. That's a touchdown and a field goal. They've got to produce. They've got to move down the field. And they've got to do it quickly. They've only got seven minutes and 28 seconds left. So the Warriors will go back to work. Kamine back into the lineup. He is flanked to the left, flanked to the right is Cochran. First down for Hawaii at their own 30-yard line. 24-14, Nevada. Now we have a timeout call. We're going to reset the clock. Give Hawaii a fresh 25, and now we begin. Tim Chang from the shotgun. He's been under pressure all afternoon long. Cordova goes offside. Shovel pass to West. West is twirled to the turf after no gain at all, but it will be offside against Nevada because of Cordova. Yeah, Cordova jumped offside. And good job by number 10, Daryl Towns, of making the tackle. That little shovel pass hasn't worked very well today, Jim. It's been successful for Hawaii in the past, but it has not worked today. You see a good look at Cordova. This guy, he's been all over the field today. They'll line him up on the left, line him up on the right, and just let him go. Cordova playing his last home game. You remember your last game. You will remember this last home game. He has been effective again. First down for Hawaii from the 34, just over the 34-yard line. Chang. Shovel pass is almost intercepted. That shovel pass, quite frankly, today has been rather pathetic. Chris Berry was right in the way of the shovel pass. Yeah, and as so a, the screen just doesn't work. And as a quarterback, you got to make a decision when you're about to shovel that pass forward. If it's not open, if there's somebody there, you got to pull it down and throw it away. Second down and five from the 34. Seven oh two left to play in the game. Chang, sideline pattern that is complete to Gerald Welch. Welch head butts his way over the 45 and then steps out of bounds. Yes. Gerald Welch catches the ball, turns up field, and makes somebody pay. I believe that's number 10, Daryl Towns. Headbutts him and bowls him over. So that is, the, I believe, the second reception of this game uh, for Welch. 12-yard game. Welch now with 17 yards. You know, Welch is not a big guy. A lot of guys his size would get upfield and walk out of bounds. Not him right there. Boom! Paul Pratt takes it into Paul Pratt, the freshman, makes him pay. First down now from the 45. Chang chased out of the pocket, throws, and nobody there. That ball may have been tipped, may have been tipped. Quintessentially, that's the way things have gone this afternoon for Hawaii. Tim Chang has not had the time. He's thrown off balance. 
He has not been able to throw at all on occasions. And his game has suffered. He has 100, rather, excuse me, 223 yards in passing. You know, he, might, one, he has you completed might, one great pass. You might say I'm just defending the offensive lineman now, but I think there was a pocket there. Chang, when he got the ball, he just backed out and didn't step up into the pocket. He ran out of it. And I'm telling you, it gives the defensive ends a straighter shot at him to get there quicker. Second down and 10. Ball is given to West, and West runs immediately into Chris Berry. Chris Berry Chris bottles Berry. him up and drops him. After a one yard gain, that'll bring up third down and nine for Hawaii. They continue to struggle, and that clock continues to tick away. You know, when we talk about Hawaii's defi defensive line and how good they are with Sopoanga and Purcell and Funga and Samoselva and Travis Laboy, I tell you, this defensive front for Nevada is very active. Chris Berry, the guy who just made the play there, is the strongest guy on that defensive line. He squats 684 pounds. Cochran to the far side and Kumini to the near side. From the shotgun again, Tim Chang throws. That is complete. Good catch by Owens. Owens having to go up in traffic. And they hit him when he was airborne, and he came down hard. But that was an 11-yard gain and a first down for Hawaii. It was a great play by Owens. A nice throw by Timmy Chang. Really nice throw. Owens goes up in traffic and brings it down, and he pays for it. He gets hit on his way down. Keono Kau from Auburn, California, the junior makes the tackle. First down for Hawaii inside Nevada territory now. They have it at the 43-yard line. The clock under six minutes. The situation, Hawaii down by 10. Chang steps up in the pocket, has room, throws. That is incomplete. That went off of uh, Gerald Welsh. Well, and Timmy Chang threw that one on a rope. That was a bullet. And he was right on the money. Gerald Welch had the ball in his hands. He's got to bring those in. He's got to make those kind of catches, especially when the team on his last drive, on his drive down here to, in the fourth quarter, five minutes left. Everybody's got to step up, and everybody has to make plays. Second down and ten. Ball is on the 43-yard line of Nevada. Five forty-one left to play in the game. Chang sideline pattern incomplete. Threw it at the feet of uh, Welch, Daryl Welch, and that will bring up third down. If Hawaii does not win this game, if they lose this game, one, they will not be bowl eligible. Two. Their chances for a WAC title or to share in the WAC title disappear. Hawaii 6 for 13 on third down conversions. And they are faced with another one. Third and long. Third and 10. From the 43. Here comes the rush throw. That's batted. And then it's gathered in on about uh, the 45-yard line, a loss of two on the play. Derek Faave, the center, he's an ineligible receiver. He changed that spec offensive line doing a good job of protecting there. And that was number 56, Kennard, with his, getting his paws on the ball. So since the ball was tipped, Anybody can be a receiver there, and Derek Fabe was. It is fourth down and 12. Hawaii, no doubt, will go for it. Four minutes and 57 seconds. This could be, could be their last gasp. Ball is given to number 21, and that's a Clifton Herbert. Herbert is short of the first down, gets to the 35-yard line. And Hawaii will give the ball over to Nevada with four minutes and 43 seconds left to play in the game. I stand corrected. It was uh, John West carrying the ball.
A politician's pledge to repeal the registration fee increase. We beat them to it. Buick now gives you bonus cash to help cover the increased costs of your California license and registration fees. Think of it. On top of your choice of great cash back offers or interest-free financing on every new Buick, we deliver bonus cash for license and registration fees. Move up to the quality at your Southern California Buick dealer today. I know guys. I know how they think. I know what they want. I know that as much as a guy might like Miss January, you can bet he's still going to want to see Miss February, not to mention March and April. It's kind of like with this burger. I love it. Doesn't mean I'm going to have one every night. The guacamole bacon $6 burger. Just one of five $6 burgers at Carl's Jr. Because some guys don't like the same thing. Chris Torme on the verge of a great victory for Nevada. A team that has lost three in a row. A team that has backed itself into a corner. Talib Wise has come in. All they have to do is just keep the ball. Andy Heiser out of Santa Clara, California. The quarterback as man goes in motion. First down from the 36. Here's Wise. Wise is clipped down hard. By Sapawanga. And Nevada will run the ball and uh, just Hawaii will be forced to take timeouts, I think. And uh, even if they punt the ball, even if Nevada punts the ball, Hawaii has to score twice. So they're, they're in a pretty good situation right now. Hawaii burns one of their timeouts. What has been frustrated? today is the lack of consistency in the Hawaii offense. We saw it at San Jose State. Hawaii just able to escape with the victory there. And we're seeing it again. The offense has started to sputter. It is not as potent as it once was. And because of that, Hawaii not really putting up a lot of numbers. Take a look at Timmy Chang today, 232 yards. He has 25 games over 300 yards in his career. But today, he has not thrown the ball particularly well. And so Hawaii really has struggled because Hawaii is that passing team. On the other hand, you have Nevada, a team that lost two of its players because of a, a criminal indictment early in the week. They come back after losing three in a row. Their coach is pushed into dire straits from people who say he's just not doing the job and he has to go and they put together a game plan that I am very much impressed with. Second down and nine man goes in motion. Keeping Heiser throws long over the middle nobody there I think he thought that man would be in the area and he wasn't. Yeah, I'm surprised at that. I'm surprised call. at that call. You're right. Yeah. That was a bad call. I think that was a bad call by uh, Tormey. You just got to run the ball. You, you, got, you got the game in control. Run the ball. If you've got to punt it, Hawaii still has to score twice. And they've only got two timeouts left there, I guess. So that, that was a bad call by Tormey. Third, third down and nine for Nevada. Johnson goes out to the left and man to the right. Heiser, three-man pattern, four-man pattern, now for a, that is incomplete. It was in the hands of uh, Pudowell, I think. Was it Pudowell? Yes. Now check that, Johnson, I'm sorry. Johnson, Willie Johnson, you're seeing a bit of the number there. Aluminium covering on the play. 
And now Nevada's forced to punt with 4.25 left. You know, it, it should be, could be under four minutes if they'd run to running plays. Chad Owens is deep. Derek Jones into punt. Good snap. Jones gets it away. What a punt. Drives Owens, stops inside the 10-yard line. Takes it, boxed in. What a great ballet move to get away from one tackler. Still running. He's at the 15, and down he goes at the 17-yard line. Nuria on the sideline that time. Well, I tell you, and Owens just continues to impress me with things that he can do when he gets the ball. are just extraordinary and marvelous. He gets the ball here. One guy's coming at him. He just kind of hops up, lifts his leg up. Whoop, there you go. And starts making moves all the way down the side. Looking for a hole, looking for a hole. Fortunately, it just doesn't open up for him. But an excellent punt by Derek Jones, 55 yards, his longest of the year was 57. And that pins Hawaii back now inside the 15-yard line to the 13. Yeah, what a great punt. That's where they say Chad Owens went down. It is first down for Hawaii. Four ten left to play. Chang steps up, flares it off, and throws it badly. Throws it low and away from the intended receiver. And that was John West. And now Nevada's in their uh, protect mode. They're rushing three guys, dropping eight guys back into a deep zone. They're not going to let Hawaii get anything deeper. They're going to really defend against that. And that's why you saw Timmy Chang having to lay it off into the flat there. Four oh six left to play in the game. And Hawaii continues to struggle. Cochran goes to the far side. Tomine wide to the near side. Second and ten. Here comes the blitz. Ball is given to West. He's hit immediately by Pratt. Pratt bulldogs him rodeo style to the turf at the eleven. Hawaii has not shown a deep threat today except on one play, and that was the touchdown, the 40-yard touchdown to Chad Owen. Yeah, and that time, Nevada rushed three guys and then blitzed their middle linebacker, number 10, Daryl Collins, and nobody picked him up. Somebody on that offensive line has got to be spying for a blitzer, and somebody's got to pick number 10 up when he comes in, especially if Nevada's only rushing three guys. Clock resumes ticket. Hawaii down by 10. Third down and 11. Throw over the middle. That is complete to Owens. He wants to run. He's at the 30 and ridden down from behind by Ali Jones. That is enough for the first down. So Hawaii converts. And again, it is Owens. His incredible talent once he gets the ball. 22-yard game. Cutting across the middle. In pursuit was number 34. And Owens just making a great play. 34, Drakus Langford. Langford. First down, the ball at the 31. Backing up and then throwing the ball low again and incomplete is Timmy Chang. Ball was intended for Welch. That'll bring up second down and 10. That stops the clock with 3.01 left to play in the game. It has been weather-wise a cold, rainy afternoon, but for Nevada, Things have brightened considerably. Here comes Hawaii again, doggedly, and that shotgun. Well, it's handed off to West. West with running room, trying to get outside over the 40, very close to the first down. As he backed his way to about the 42, Drake as Langford finally halted his progress. And under three minutes to play now. Hawaii came in to this game five and one in the Western Athletic Conference. But Hawaii will finish their road trips this year. Two and four on the year. Unless something drastic happened. Is it a first down? No, just short.
boy, and you know when he first stretched the chain out, it looked like Hawaii was gonna have the first down. And he yanked on it a little, got the kinks out. Chad Owens receiving yards today 154. He had over 200 yards last year against Nevada. The rest of the team only 98. That will not get it done. Third down and less than a yard for the first down. Chen throws over the middle. That's complete. To Owens. Owens breaks one tackle. Finally, Ali Jones spins him to the turf. Short game on the play. But that yields a first down for Hawaii. And the Warriors keep the ball. They need to strike quickly. Triple wide receiver to the left. Chang, back to pass, but we have a penalty flow. <laughs> Referee Le Pen, that the thing hasn't worked the whole second half. <laughs> Illegal procedure against Nevada. No, now he points the other way. You know, he could get suspended for that. <laughs> Pointed one way, and then finally corrected himself. First and 15, the ball at the 41 for Hawaii, and they trail by 10 in this game. 2.25 left to play. Chang throws long. It is incomplete. It was intended for Cochran. Covering on the play was Nick Hothron. Hothron was injured. He did not start in the game, but here, in the last uh, moments, he has been put in. He has played sparingly. We saw him in the third period. Hofgren has three interceptions on the year. He's a freshman redshirt out of Sacramento, California. Yeah. At that time, it looked like Cochran had beat the zone. He'd gotten deep, but he had to slow down for the ball. Timmy Chang having to let go of the ball a little earlier than he wanted to. Second down. Throws over the middle. That is complete. And finally being uh, wrapped up. To Welsh. Welsh making the reception. And the Kine Agueni making the stop for Nevada. One more catch and Owens ties the school record with 12 in one game. Third down and nine for Hawaii. Chang. Sideline pattern throws it low again. And he it was intended for Welch. That yeah. brings up fourth down. Welch is open and he had the yardage. He got open and uh, the ball was just thrown. Timmy, Timmy Chang now 24 for 47. 263 yards, one touchdown, and two interceptions. And Hawaii is down to fourth and nine. With one minute and 45 seconds left to play. So they are up against it. Throw. That's complete to Owens. But he cannot get away. He sets a school record 12 receptions in a game. But he is short of the first down. And Hawaii has to hand the ball over to Nevada. And all Nevada has to do is run out the clock. Owens drawing a little bit, working on his law degree, which he should not do. And it will be first down for Nevada. When we come back, Nevada with 136 left. We'll fall it.
first C230 sports sedan with a supercharged compressor engine. To catch one, you gotta be in one. Guys, let him depart. We have no stomach for this fight. But we shall be remembered. We few. We happy few. We band of brothers. We band of Get what you need from the internet faster. Get SBC Yahoo DSL for just $26.95 a month when you sign up online. And you can win a trip to the Nokia Sugar Bowl. One more way, we bring it all home. Raymond Weil, Geneva, the Parsifal Collection. It has been a dark day for the University of Hawaii. Capturing the lead in the third period, only to see it go through their fingers, and they are now down by 10. Kretschmer has come in, and Kretschmer will carry the ball, no doubt, and run out the time. Man goes in motion. Kretschmer with a hole. Line of scrimmage being the 46 brings it into Hawaii territory. And Hawaii calls a timeout. You know, so far, I don't believe Kretschmer has gone over 100 yards. So Hawaii's defense has done a good job to shutting down the run. Just uh, Nevada came out with a great game plan. Hawaii will have more games to become bowl eligible. They play Army. Army uh, going into this afternoon still winless on the season. Then Alabama. Then Boise State. But that game against Boise State that everyone pointed to as a possibility of at least co-champions in the WAC with a victory. That now has gone by the board. Yeah, and this win for Nevada, what that means is they, uh, for the first time in Tormey's four years here, he will not have a losing season because now he'll be six and five. If they lose next week to Boise, they're six and six. And they might have saved his job. Might have. Hawaii can strike very quickly, however. So the, that glimmer is still there, but the way the Hawaii offense has played today, it has not been what it used to be. Here comes Nevada. Hawaii now with one timeout remaining. And one minute and 30 seconds left in the game. Kretschmer. Kretschmer gets to the 46. Clock is stopped with 122. And there's a lot of John going on down there on the field, Jim. And finger pointing. Yeah, that's not good. That's not good. Boy, he's really been frustrating you know, on its offense today. But um, you come a long way. When Hawaii goes on the road, they go overseas, they go into different time zones. They will have traveled over 50,000 miles, this being the sixth road game of the season. Yeah, you know, after this, coming into weather like this, it's cold weather, the players are going to be better prepared next time. They'll, they'll come out with better gear, be warmer, and uh, longer socks, definitely, I'm sure. And uh, hopefully play a better game. So victory and defeat, very, very hard to define motion, but it is there. Hawaii would love to go back across the Pacific as winners, but they have no timeouts left. And all Nevada has to do is just run it out. Jim Jones has to regroup 
Army next week, then Alabama, and then Boise. Hawaii will not win the WAC championship this year. They have two losses. Boise has none. If it goes according to the way it's going now with 126 left. Man again in motion. Kretschmer. Kretschmer to the 41. That's enough for a first down on third and two. Hawaii cannot stop the clock. Clock never started in that play, by the way. So now it will start, and Hawaii cannot cannot stop it. Interesting third quarter, real teeter totter affair. Hawaii trailing six to nothing at halftime comes back, and they score two touchdowns. One on a 40-yard touchdown pass from Chang to Chad Owens. The other on a fumble recovery return for a touchdown uh, by a defensive standout, and he stood out today. Travis Labor. Hawaii had a 14 to six lead. But then it was Nevada, Nevada coming back and leading now 24 to 14, including an interception return. So Hawaii will fall on the season to six and four. It will be five and two in the WAC. It will be two and four on the road. One more kneel down, and this game is history. Heiser finishes 15 for 30 with 169 yards. He was intercepted once, and it is over. So Nevada defeats Hawaii by a score of 24 to 14. The coaches come across, and the players will shake hands and congratulate each other for the effort. And there was a good effort, Jim. A lot of them. Hard fought battles going on out there today. Hawaii comes up empty in this game today. When you look at the effort for Hawaii, the defense was on the field for a long time in the second half. Hawaii's offense just did not sparkle today. Kretschmer with 23 carries for 73 yards, the Hawaii defense holding him under 100 yards. He came into this game with five 100-yard games on the season. Tim Chang finishes 25 for 48, 269 yards, one touchdown, and two interceptions. That touchdown uh, was uh, to Chad Owens. So Hawaii walks away with this uh, loss, and it's time uh, to look at the Red Star moment, sponsored by Heineken. It happened. This is the really the play that turned things around for Nevada. Tim Chang had his pass uh, tipped by Carl Legrone. And then Derek Kennard. There's a tip by Legrone. Kennard goes over, gathers it in at the 10-yard line, and scores. So that's our Red Star moment, sponsored by Heineken. It's all about the beer, Heineken. Hawaii has played its last road game, Doug. They come home three home games uh, next week against Army. They can still become bowl eligible. The real pain today is the thoughts of a WAC championship are gone. Yeah, it's a, it's a painful thought. They come out here, they fight hard, fight a good battle, but they lose. And now they've got to go home a long flight right after the game. They're going straight to the airport, get on that plane, and uh, go back home. Final score, 24 for Nevada, 14 for Hawaii. This has been another broadcast of the Warrior Football Network. For my broadcast partner, Doug Violetti, and the entire Reno crew, thanks, gentlemen and ladies. I'm Jim Leahy. Thanks for watching, everybody. And as always, malama pono ke kahi i ke kahi.
tonight on the Southern California Sports Report. Complete highlights, interviews, and analysis of the Trojans and the Bruins, both in action. Plus, the Clippers host T-Mac and the not-so-magical magic. It's the SESR tonight at 10. You're watching Fox Sports Net 2. Weeknights, it's a who's who on the best damn sports show, period. It's a fact! It's the clubhouse for Hollywood and all the famous. Please welcome The Rock, Pamela Anderson, Chris Rock, Jesse Jackson, and Cuba Jr. Where anything can and will happen. This is too good and too much fun. Just move your hips in a circle. That is must see T busy right there. Weeknights on Fox Sports Net. You're watching Fox Sports Net, the only sports network that puts Southern California fans first. The SoCal Sports Report. Hello, everybody. The nightly newscast dedicated to your hometown teams, scores, interviews, and highlights. Who cares? You care about hey. the Rose Bowl. The Southern California Sports Report, nightly at 10. Your Southern California fans come first. Fox Sports Net. Five, four, three. Two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. The only show that takes you inside the world of extreme sports each and every weekday. Five, four, three, two, one. For breaking news, event highlights, and inside features you won't find anywhere else. Five, four, three, two, one. Weekdays on Fox Sports Net. Mm, Fox Sports.